All right, guys, we are back with Baldur's Gate 3. A little bit of a recap. It's been a minute since I played last. We gave some time for the YouTube videos and stuff to catch up. So here is where we China. are so far. We are not in China. We're actually in uh, Baldur's Gate 3. So we just fought our way out of the prison. It took us freaking forever. Like ages. What a um, fucking liar, dude. What no, it did. It took me like five hours. Little... Because apparently I'm like two levels under level for this thing, and I'm I'm playing this whole thing ass backwards, unfortunately. But uh it's okay because it's not backwards, because it's just the way that we do it, right? Here on this channel. We got that going on, we are leaving the tunnel, we saved those uh the the we saved the gnomes, and we're going back and we are following the gnomes on the boat to leave the prison, and uh, these are the same gnomes that we talked about saving back in Grimforge. So that's where we are now, and we're gonna get started. The guard insists that you meet with their leader, a harper by the name of Jahira. Okay. <laughs> and? <laughs> All right, there we go. This feels wrong. Something feels wrong here, guys. At ease, Jahira. I am no threat. I am bound by oath not to harm the innocent. Ha! Well, I am certainly no innocent, Paladin. So I'll bind you with vines a moment longer, if you do not mind. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know, it's that it knows its own kind. He loves me. You should never have come here, true soul. Strength, rage against the machine. I am not a true soul. Stop! What are you doing? He's the one who saved us. He's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved us from a mad druid and her snakes. A real class act. Oh, that was the Trust kid from earlier. Attack. Choose all the miners that has a puzzle. Um, do I show her the artifact? Here's my thing. Why, why should I be so trusting of this person? I guess... in the hells is that thing yeah but i don't know her from baldur's gate one and two you know what i mean tell jahira everything you know about the artifact congratulations you've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt hear me harpers all clear at ease i'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is but i'm old and wise enough to recognize a back, sliver of hope Steve. when it crawls out of the dark tell me why have you come here? To destroy the Absolute and its lair. I just want to cure for the Parasite. My Moonrise Tower is my only lead. Do I really want to destroy the Absolute? I kind of do. I mean, what, so what I was trying to do, I was trying to, like, befriend the bad guys to usurp them. But really, at the end of the day, I really just want to cure for the Parasite. <laughs> I'm here on holidays. I'll just say I'm here on holiday. You're just in time for happy hour. <laughs> There's food in the inn over there. Beds, too, if you require rest. Yellow oil in the cupboard in case I'm in holiday from playing mad. Rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Yeah, I never played the old Baldur's Gate games. And I'm, and I'm loving this. Okay, let's go. Um, first things first. So, so I need a minute to kind of get my feet under me because I haven't played in a while. Game of the Year contender? Yes. I would say this is probably going to be mine so far. I thought it was Final Fantasy 16, and I do think Final Fantasy 16 is really good. But I think when it's all said and done, I'm going to lean towards this. This game is just it's just so damn good. Should I make the jump chat? Do we swap? Do we do we do we swap Lazel for Carlock? And then what I would do is I would respect Carlock into a fighter rogue. Okay, here we go, Carlock. Soldier. Come on, we're heading Aces. out. Yeah, I've never actually used her. I got leveled her up, but I didn't actually use her yet. Dude, I wish they had a talent calculator for this game. <laughs> now, I wonder if Fighter Rogue is better or Fighter Ranger is better. 
fighting style, two weapon fighting. Take everything out of defense or uh, dexterity. Why no dex? So I have gloves that set her, her dex to 18. Yeah, they're OP. So that's why Lazel just turned into a freak. Subclass, battle master, maneuver. Okay, so the, what maneuver did I do? I did repost, I did disarming attack, repost, and then I did precision attack, but precision attack kind of was unnecessary. Let's go trip attack. So now we have Carlock in here. We're gonna take Carlock. We respect her to being like a dual wheel person. And then this looks like we're at the Infernal Forge area. And it looks like we're gonna to talk to her right now. Oh my God, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. Jahira's witnesses. Baldurian, she lives in the city, right? Don't you know the whole story? <laughs> Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport oh. trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to okay. tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! What a day, dude! What a day! So let's talk to Damon with. Uh, yeah, should I, I talk to her you, with Carlock? Aha! Uh -huh. Insight failed. Thought I sensed an infernal. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, I reckon. Trying to stay out of the shadows. Hold on. I know you. The weaponsmith, right? Drafted into the blood war when your city was swallowed by Avernus. Not too different from my own story. Well done making it out alive. Same to you. Though unless my senses deceive me, you brought a bit of the hells back with you. Infernal engine? Who needs a heart when you've got one of these to keep you warm? Thank you, Zariel. Forget warm. You're burning up. Might be burning out of piston ring or leaking oil mind if i take a listen please do i've been dying to find an infernal mechanic <laughs> now that's hot. Oh, that's hot i think i could sort you out i can hear the well, ocean I need some infernal iron and a lot of luck we'll look for some iron we have some iron Fuck actually. yes we will okay sure Meantime, if you need to stock up, everything I have is available. Okay, so here's the, here's the big question. Do I keep the blood of Lathander, the weapon that murdered Lazel's <laughs> entire uh, race? <laughs> Some of you guys say put it on Shadowheart, but she never attacks. So I feel like it's kind of worthless. Yeah, I say it's not for attacking, but then also like plus three weapon enchantment. Like, you know, like, okay. Have a gander at the finest stop. I'm gandering, I'm gandering. Is there another traitor? Oh, here's Barkus Root. I knew him from earlier. This party looks nuts, by the way. Dude, my party is stacked. I'm so, like, happy with my, my party here. Map of the Shadowlands? Wait, why can't I reach this? Why can I not reach this? The finest stop, please. Be welcome. What's up, Ronde? Do your very good health. Smell the wine first. Perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. He doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. No, but it spoils my trust. Indulge me. I have nothing to hide. Bottoms up. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? Saving throw. Despite knowing that you're under the effects of a drug, try to deny the tadpole has any influence over you. Can't tell that's in real life, or it doesn't sound like real life. <laughs> I can't tell. What? I will take your word for it. 
The girl in the game. I told oh. you to it too. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you, people with parasites in their brains, all the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city, quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Ketherick Thorm, I encountered him in Moonrise Towers. If he's back, perhaps you should hit him harder in the first place. Yeah, I encountered him in the Moonrise Towers, I'll tell her. You were the one who rescued those the Absolute had imprisoned. You were courageous to brave the depths of Ketherick's stronghold. I suppose you know about Ketherick then. A true Ganonani. His invincibility that will never cleanse this place until he's made to bleed. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Sick. Cleric of Shar, it's rare people look at me and see hope. The light is rather dim. Out here in the Shadowlands. I almost always pick those. The point remains. Shadowlands. Protected oh. by your artifact. You can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword. Together, we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. You want to make use of my infection, but I want to be cured of it. Ketherick's days are numbered. I'll make sure of it. I'm going to side. I'm just going to. I'm just going to full send with her. I think your days are numbered too. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. How do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Saluna, and a light in the darkness. Cleric of Saluna is enemy of the Shah, right? The inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you. And she'll see you through the shadows safely. Talk to Wolverine. Where's Wolverine? Oh, Wolverine. Hmm? Oh, uh, I, I don't need anything else. Thanks. Hello? I saved your life. Your friend Barkus is just around the corner. Have you said hello? Oh, Barkus. Uh, perhaps later. Was there something else? Hello? Not gonna thank me for saving your life? Surely Barkus will take care of that. How do you and Barkus know each other? Oh, we hail from the same village in the Underdark. We hung about in the same parcel of children. Barkus tends to make more of it than it is. Uh, what are you gonna do when you get out of I here? I have plans in Baldur's Gate. The work of many years' labor that will finally bear fruit. You should look for me once we're in the city. The name Wolverine Bongle will be mentioned among many. I've little doubt. Do you care to elaborate on these plans? That's Iron Hand gnome business. Save failed history. What part do you play in the Iron Hand Gnomes? I am more than a part. I am its oil and gears. I am its purpose, its leader. We are inventors of the highest order, matched, perhaps, but never surpassed by the Gondians at the High House of Wonders. But our forebears were foolish, complicit with Sarabok's madness over a century past. And so, we were banished. We're still off to this day. Siding with a murderous lunatic is more than foolish. Perhaps. But why should I be punished for a mistake I took no part in? The Gondians refuse us time and time again. I have fought tooth and nail to restore our reputation. Particularly against the Gondian detractors who live in glass houses. Our return to Baldur's Gate will usher in a new era for the Iron Hand Gnomes. The realm deserves the benefit of our genius. I'll leave you to your own devices. Appreciate it. And you can leave me to mine! Oh, I missed. Awkward.
I, I saved already. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. And you, I've heard you're the protector of this inn, the Banisher of Shadows. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Okay. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. Okay. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. Ooh. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. They're very nice of you, but I've been to Moonrise Towers already. You. What's up, Chicken Wiener? Have. Thanks, man. Forgive me for gilding the lily. I suppose if Jahira hasn't gone tearing into the night, there's work to be done there yet. I wish you luck. The very best of it. Anything else I should know before heading off? Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Who is this? <sighs> Hello, Isabel. Flaming Fist Marcus. Marcus. Is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Catherick himself. Isabel, do you know this man? He's a Flaming Fist. Or was. Came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. Wisdom, probe his thoughts. What does he want with her? Let's probe him. Let's, let's probe him, let's probe him. There's no way I miss a six. Okay. A haunting face wins uh, killer, bad down. Eye. It's instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. I'm actually like, I wonder if I should just let, let things happen. Because sometimes you let things happen. My thought process is just letting things play out and then stepping in when I need to. But your oath? Yeah, I mean, like I don't let anything bad happen, but I don't intervene. He's clearly bad. Why, well, it's because his hair is dyed a different color than his beard? Is kidnapping evil or not? Well, here's the thing. What if I go with, and then I kill them from the inside? You already freed the prisoners. True. Here, I'm going to save, just for the sake of seeing what happens. I'm going to I'm gonna choose one. I've decided my, my, I've decided it's one. But I want to, I want to hit the other options just to see what happens. You, you're one of them, aren't you? <laughs> what fools you both are. <laughs> Ketherick will never give you whatever it is he's promised you. He already has. Wings? Time to go, Isabel. Dude, I love wings. Oh, I never ate my salad that I ordered. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? <laughs> 
Dude, if you stay, dude, they killed everybody. Everybody that I saved gets dead. Catherine wants her alive, no matter what. Come along, Oh my gosh, dude, the evil route is so bad. All the innocents are killed. Did it oath break? It should have oath break, right? Oath broken. Wow. That's crazy. Marcus is trying to kidnap you, Isabel. We're gonna need to fight our way out of this. Pathetic. The absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. But you punish this. The absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Time to go, Isabel. So you do the fight regardless. Save failed constitution. Oh, I thought they were gonna kill her anyway. Oh no, they killed him anyway. What the frick? Moon maiden, guide my hand. Oh look at look at this some bitch. You just run away. Hello? How much? How many move? How much motion does this guy have? Okay, Carlock, this is our first chance to use Carlock in combat. Let's let's see how she goes. Uh, Flaming Fist Marcus. I want to examine. I want to see if he has any weaknesses or resistances. He does not. 23 strength, though. That's a big damn. I'm going to go ahead, and I want to run... Um, I wonder if he can turn invisible. Probably not. I don't have an, oh, I do have an advantage over him. But he's going to stay alive for a while, so I'm going to searing smite him. If I the think. cleric Isabel reaches zero horsepower, you lose the fight. Miss, are you kidding me, man? Okay, we got another swing. We're gonna we're gonna get a second one. Ooh, big damn! Sneak attack critical. Uh, not, wait, did I get two crits? Oh no, no I only hit once with the searing smite, but you do four, fourteen bonus damage. Sick. Okay, you know what I think I should do? I think I should action action surge, and just unload into him right here because he's already right next to us. Maybe I try and disarm. And, and maybe I can miss. That would be really, really good. So disarm again. Okay, he's saved from the disarm, but that's okay. Maybe we haste s -band. What's ensnaring strike? Ensnaring strike. Did it work? Oh, it did. He's ensnared. Cool. What's going on here? Dude, there's so many... Whoa, 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 what was that big attack of opportunity? That was Carlock? Carlock did an attack of opportunity for insane damage. Yeah, so I think one thing's for sure is that I really gotta get Carlock another weapon that is a um, is a finesse weapon for sneak attack bonus because I made her a rogue. So now I might as well go here and uh, run the big dam. You picked the wrong fight, friend. Uh, Luck of the Far Realms, no. Divine Smite. Oh, he's a fiend, right? These are fiends. Oh my gosh! So I I pop off in this in this uh, in this act. I gotta go save these people though. These these guys are probably gonna go kill all these innocent people, aren't they? I gotta go save them. What rings you got, bitch? Minus one equals zero. Leah, dude, you guys do no damage. You guys just need to survive. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Carlock has 91% chance to hit here. Oh, because he's ensnared, he has a, oh my gosh, we have a higher chance to hit him as well. I wonder if we do disarming attack when they're ensnared, it's even better. Are we going to Hunter's Mark in maybe? Ooh, okay, ready? Guys, we're going to blow her up right here. I should go for the disarm. Critical hit, he is saved, but oh my gosh, dude, I'm doing tons of damage. 29 piercing. Two acids, seven psychic, and I can get another disarming. Well, I guess, dude, honestly, I might just. Yeah, let's do this again. Hmm. Okay, it's fine. Concentrated blast, magic missiles. Yeah, but it uses a spell slot, and that's kind of unnecessary. Let's use concentrated blast because I haven't used it yet. Oh, but it breaks my concentration to use it. 
Oh my gosh, dude. I didn't. Oh my gosh, dude. I didn't inspect the spell. Dot, dot, dot. There's one line. The spell you were concentrating on will end. Really? Time to push my luck again. Um. Okay. I was under leveled in my first playthrough because I didn't do Mountain Pass yet. And it took me like two hours to win this. I'm actually upset. Well, dude, it's like whenever I was trying to get out of the prison, it took me four hours because I was two, two levels under level. And like, I didn't have spells. Like, that was a nightmare. Man, it's so it's so hard to like, this is, the, this is the only thing. I wish there was a button like The Sims, which is like kind of funny in general that I'm like comparing this game to The Sims, but like where you can go up and down levels. Have you reclassed anyone? I reclassed Carlock, I reclassed Shadowheart, and I reclassed Lazel. I made Lazel and Carlock the exact same. Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time, and that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are, but they don't know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, Everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Marcus told me Catherick wanted you captured, not killed. Why? Why does a man like him do anything? This Power, is some good bread. spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you. I hope I won't have to. I never get tired of hearing that ego. No, I'll say one. I'll say one. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. I saw Ketherick at Moonrise Towers presiding over a trial. Almost laughable. That he sees himself fit to judge anyone. Did you learn anything about how we might defeat him? Not yet, but I think I'm on the right track. Well, that's fantastic. Well done. I'm glad you've made progress. Protecting this inn. Well... It takes it out of you. I'll hold out as long as I can. By the sound of things, we'll have a more permanent solution soon. So glad you're on our side. Traitors among us. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel too, I... Oh, lay on hands. You should have seen this coming. I thought I was prepared for treachery. But an all-out assault. I blundered into their trap like a fool. Like you a have fool. the honor of making up for my mistake. I trust that you will. How come everybody just throws all their responsibility on me? Like everybody keeps screwing up and it's like, oh, thank goodness we have you. I'm like, all right, great. 